I'm Gerald Finley, and I'm w here with Julius Drake, my long companion at the piano. And we have just recorded a wonderful album of Schubert's Schwanengesang and Brahms' Vier Ernste Gesänge. You may ask why these particular pieces. Um, we wanted to do, and have wanted to do, Schubert's last set of songs, the Schwanengesang, um, for, for many years. Uh, but they last about uh, 45, 50 minutes. And so we had to think what would be the, a good companion for this disc. And then we noticed that Brahms also, amongst his very, very last works, were these last four songs. I call the four serious songs. And uh, so, in a way, they are right at the end of Brahms's life. Schubert's Schwanengesang is right at the end of his life. They seemed appropriate to be on a disc together. <laughs> And we made the decision to do the Schwanengesang in the published order, um, although in a concert situation we have experimented with putting the Brahms in between the two parts of the uh, Schubert published version um, to separate the Rellstab poets from the Heine um, settings. And we found that, that worked effectively in concert, but we felt that perhaps for those people listening to a Schubert disc, they would probably want to hear everything all together. Yes. But the Schwanengesang is, is an unusual piece because he didn't really set it as a song cycle, unlike Winterreiser or Ischene Mullerin. And he, he, they were found, these songs, in his effects after his very untimely death at the age of only 31. Um, they were found, this group of songs, which were seven settings of one of his favorite poets, Ludwig Rellstab, and then six settings of Heinrich Heine, who was a contemporary, almost exact contemporary of Schubert, and he had never set before. But clearly he thought of the Rellstab as being one group, because they're written on a continuous set of manuscript papers, and clearly he felt that the Heine were also another set. Whether he really meant them ever to be joined together, we don't know. But that's what the publisher Hasslinger did, and added the Taubenpost, another very, very late song, to the very end. And we have this actually glorious song cycle, Schwanengesang. Yeah, and it really, for me, encapsulates the, uh, the essence of Schubert's uh, writing. Um, I mean, the, the glory of, of his song writing. The, the Rellstab is full of... Um, uh, angst and and drama and, drama and yearning um, and a, a sense of hope, a sense of love, a sense of loss, shall we say. The final song, Upsheet, in that group, number seven, is the, um, uh, the jaunty uh, horseman uh, saying goodbye, but he does it in such a way that he's not really, we're not really sure whether he's saying goodbye uh, in a miserable way or a happy mm -hmm. way, so it ends in somewhat... Um, uh, in Schubert's wonderful fashion, in a very ambiguous way. And the, the Heine is well, then completely the, different. Then the Heine, record, because Heine was an entirely different sort of poet to Rolstab. It's much more pithy, it's much more pared down, the words are very simple. And the music, likewise, is pared down, it's much more bleak. Uh, and much more uh, really getting to the essence of the emotion. And you get some of his very greatest songs, like the Doppelgänger, which is a terrifying song, where he sees his own double staring up at his beloved's house uh, and realizes that this, it doesn't realize till the very end, that the person he's looking at is actually himself. It's, it's uh, they're astonishing songs, really. And the final song, as you said, Die Taubenpost, is this, well, almost for me in any case, sums up Schubert's, um, so we say, not reason 
for writing music necessarily, but at least the galvanizing force in a lot of his write, uh, writing is the essence of uh, die Sehnsucht, which is longing, the idea of searching for something, the, the, the restlessness almost of it. But this, this poem, as set by Schubert, becomes almost an epilogue, literally, to not only this group of songs, but also to his life, where he very gently, caressingly, um, and very honestly describes that, that the idea of longing, die Sehnsucht, is one of the most important things that we live for. Yes, and it's so extraordinary because by that time in his life he was in such pain, really knowing that he'd, be, he'd known for four years that he was dying of syphilis, and the pain was getting worse and worse, and now he was bedridden, unable to leave the apartment, and yet he could write a, a song like Die Taubenpost, which is about longing, but it's got so much hope, so much joy as well there. Indeed, and that's uh, one of the wonderful things about Schubert, had, yeah. having hope and joy next to tragedy and despair. Yeah, and, um, and all, often all in in the space of one line. I mean, it's astonishing what he can do with the harmonic shifts and the melodic shifts. Mm.